Hey everyone, it's Amy from Yo So Boho. Welcome to my channel and to another Tuesday night tabletop thrift haul. Tonight we have another special guest appearance by Earth. Hello everybody. This is my other half. You may have recognized him from a few other videos and many adventures. Before we get started on tonight's uh, thrift hauls, I want to do a quick shout out to my mom. My mom. She is having a kind of a big birthday today. Um, Tuesday, June 29th. Happy birthday, mom. Happy birthday. We love you so much. She is so much a part of this adventure and has helped me out with my little business here and I'm just so grateful to her and I love her so much and I just want to start the video that way and now we can get into it. Um, let's take a look at what we got. We went to three places on this day and actually I'm going to show you two hauls from a Restore and a Savers first and then Thursday, I'm going to bring you back on Thursday and we're going to be back. <laughs> and we're gonna go to a Goodwill where I'm gonna actually do a shop along and thrift haul for that as well. So stay tuned for that on Thursday. But let's get into the first store, which was a restore. We started there early in the morning. We met up, my Aunt Beth and I met up at the East Lake Restore, and let's take a look at what we got. Are we ready? All right, so the first thing that I found is this. This is just a carved box. I'm sure you've seen these many times, but it's unusual because this one is in this hexagon shape, right? Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful because it has this inlaid brass. The price tags covering up a lot of the art, but let's try that again. Very pretty, very pretty details. No stickers or markings of any kind, but a lot of these are made in India. And this one, which cost me $5, wasn't the only one there. Show them that one. Ta-da! It had a bigger one. And guess what? Can you open this one up? It was actually designed to nest right inside. But guess what? But there's I'll more. That one. There's more. There's another one. There was a third one. A big one. Show them the front of this. Look at how beautiful that box is. It's nice and large. Very beautiful. This one was $8. The small one was five, and this one was how much? $10. $10. So all together, what is that, 22? 22. 22. $22 for all three boxes. Can you open this one up? All gone. Look at that. How awesome is that? Look. I was so excited to find these. I mean, $22 is, you know, that's that's a little bit more than what I would normally pay for something. But to have a nesting set of these, oh, it's really cool. Something that you don't see every day. You don't see. And in this shape, this hexagon shape, and with the brass inlay, I mean, this is just special. This is very special. It's so special. <laughs> you know I'm gonna say I wanna keep it, right? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I totally wanna keep this, um, but I think I will list it. But this is not gonna be a cheap set. This isn't gonna be like the normal, um, uh, what you call it, rectangle box um, set because I can't find anything like this. 
especially not a nesting set like this. This is really unique and very cool and I'm super excited. This is gonna come with a pretty big price tag. What do you think I should put on this? 65 bucks. 65 bucks? I would buy it for 65 bucks. <laughs> I spent 22. Okay, think? maybe 85. I'm, I'm thinking somewhere between 80 and $100 for the, for the set. That, I think that that's fair. I'm thinking probably right around 89 plus, I don't know, but we'll figure it out and I'll probably list it on eBay and I will enjoy it in the meantime. And that's why I can put a big price tag on it because if it sits around here for a while, I won't be sad about, about mm -hmm. that. <laughs> All right, so there was kind of a theme at the savers because everything I got was like wood. This isn't quite wood. This is like, what, what would you say this is? Like a pressed composite? Kind of, yeah. Yeah, it's like a composite material. It looks like wood from a distance. It, it's yeah, nice. it definitely, it's, it's probably compressed like a composite wood. Um, these were pretty popular in the mid-century. Um, this is made by a company called Sirocco, S-Y-R-O-C-O. And you can find these on eBay all day. They sell really well. They, a lot of them are like gold. So people spray paint them gold and they call them like Hollywood Regency style, which is another kind of mid-century style. When I say that, I mean, I'll show you some comps, but like a single one of these painted gold has sold for like 30 bucks. Every little bit helps. I'll take a look. Maybe I'll try and list it and see if it sells natural. But if I paint it gold, I'll also get rid of those little issues. So I might, I might try and do a gold coat on it. The last thing I got at the restore, my Aunt Beth actually picked up and she said, hey, do you want one of these? Because I think she has one or two already for sale. And it is a nice big vintage nut bowl and I don't have a nut bowl and I've never sold a nut bowl. So I said, yeah, I'll take it. They had $3 on the bowl itself and they also had- Nutcrackers. Yeah, all of the tools that go in the holes there. Um, they had this separate, priced separately for a dollar. So this is $4, probably not the best deal ever um, because as I'm looking them up, it seems like there's a lot listed, there's not a lot that sell. Probably people don't crack nuts anymore. No. Not <laughs> they don't like displaying crack that nuts. that when I was a kid quite a bit, but now, nowadays people look at you like you're crazy. Like, cracking nuts. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's just a, a past thing, but it is a very beautiful bowl. I could see it being used for other things as well. But, and it's got a nice old vintage label on it. It says Vermilion Walnut, real walnut. So that's nice. It's a nice old bowl. It has a few condition issues. I don't know, I think this is something I'll take over to the shop. I paid four bucks. I'm probably only gonna get 10 or 12, I'm guessing. I'm seeing these um, sit on eBay. So I, I just, I don't know. I don't know if this is a good purchase it's or worth not. a shot. Yeah. All right, then we went over to Savers and I didn't find, all that much stuff. But I did find a few things and some things I was looking for money making things because you know, I'm trying to make some money. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing is another hand-me-down from my Aunt Beth. She found this and she said she didn't want it. I think it's probably because it was priced $4.99 and that's a little steep. But look at this piece. It is a linen tablecloth and it says, maybe we can hold this up. It says Australian wildlife, has the koalas in the middle. And then it has all these wonderful animals all the way around it that are all Australian uh, animals. Green tail possum. Uh, a yeah. blue-breasted 
Fairy Wren. Look at how cute some of these are. Eastern Native Cat. A cat. Eastern Native Cat. Let's so, see. Look. I've never seen that before. Never heard of it. Just very cool, you know? Brand new, like, it, this has never been used. I think it had some markings on it as far as the maker. Here. Fast Colors. Designed by... Cider? Cider? Australia. C-I-T-E-R, Australia. Pure linen. So it's just a nice, and it's a nice size. I want to say it's like a, about five by five. Sounds about so right. It's a, nice, it's a nice kind of card table size. I have not been able to find this exact tablecloth. Definitely nothing like this in this condition. There are a couple other things that are Australian wildlife-ish listed, but nothing quite this cool. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure what my aunt found when she looked this up because I know when we were in the store, she said it didn't seem like these were very popular, but, and for $5, I'm probably not going to make a lot of money. I'm going to guess I'll price this probably 20, between 20 and $25, but probably closer to 20. Don't try to drape all over me. I was going to make you wear it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next thing I found was this purple ceramic rhino. Rhino. And it's just like hang it on the wall. I guess you could hang something from it. Maybe like an apron or your scarf or something. But he's really cute. He's purple. I mean, that just makes him cool. And he was $1.49, which was a nice little deal. It says he was made by Tri Coastal Design in 2014. So he's a newer piece. He's not vintage. He's just neat. And I have a hard time passing up like odd cool things. And he was an odd cool thing. So I grabbed him. Speaking of odd cool things, our Savers has that huge wall of bags. And we looked through the entire wall, and this was the only thing that I pulled off the wall. Can you believe that? It was $2.29. And I pulled it off because it had these adorable s'mores characters in it. That's really cool. So this one is like a little Frankenstein s'mores. <laughs> That guy is Dracula. Dracula? Dracula, yep. Dracula. And then <laughs> I just noticed that this guy is missing a nose. But he's the <clears throat> devil. I think maybe I'll just add a little dab of color on his face. But how cute are they? Little three pack of s'mores. S'mores characters. I guess they made a bunch of these. This, uh, this, these are just stamped the s'mores original. They're all stamped that. And then this one says Midwest, copyright Midwest. It looks like they're listed all over the place. I've seen them listed for about $10 a piece. I've seen them listed, um, one of these guys, I think it might be the devil, is listed for like 20 right now. The sales comps, um, yeah, I don't, I'll share with you if, if I know anything different, but I think I'll probably put these in the shop um, in that like Halloween, Christmas time, like closer to fall, and sell the three of them together. They're, they're really quality, they're nice quality, they're heavy. And I think somebody will pick the three of them up as is with the little missing nose. And then the other thing that was in here is just a made in China ornament of some sort. It's these three chefs and it says Dolce Vita. Do you know what that means? It means a life of heedless pleasure and luxury. Okay. I think this is the top of a wine glass, but I think they were holding little wine glasses. 
like they're toasting. It's kind of cute, but it's broken. I'll probably re-donate it. Maybe somebody wants it. But oh, these were the best ones in the past. Yeah, I, I pulled that bag down because the s'mores characters were adorable. Then I found a couple of collegiate things and I don't ever buy, have you ever, ever seen me buy a hat? No. I don't buy hats. But I've been watching a lot of YouTubers who buy hats and they make good money on hats. And I thought, you know what, what the heck? This one is brand new. It has the size sticker still on it. It has all of the stickers, including the barcode and the collegiate sticker all Texas in Texas Longhorns. Yeah, yeah, it's a Texas, thanks. <laughs> it's a Texas, Texas Longhorns. Longhorns. That should sell just before college football season. Yeah, I was thinking so too. I was thinking I would, um, you know, go ahead and put it on eBay. There's only one other one listed and it doesn't have these cool um, stripes on it. It's just all orange, but it is the same. It's called like a smooth flex and it is the same like dry fit smooth flex. Um, but they have it listed for like 25 bucks and I paid $3.49 for this. So I was thinking, you know, even if I got 20 bucks, that was a pretty good, cool thing. And that's an, another new thing that I learned. Yeah, it's brand new. I, I will sell it brand new. There's no wear in it whatsoever. And all the stickers are there. So I would imagine, I know some of the guys like to keep the stickers on these, but I would imagine they would at least take off the barcode right. and this size thing. So I'm going to list it as new. And then the final thing I found was also a collegiate. It is a Dura flag, um, just a big nylon flag. This is three by five. It's just a big, and you can see it here, Bowling Green. See? Yep. Bowling Green flag. So, and we're in Ohio where Bowling Green is. And I imagine, again before football season this will be a good thing this right on the back of it says it originally sold for $25.99 and when I looked this up on Amazon this sells brand new for $29.99 so $30 I paid $1.49 for it Ooh, so I will list it probably for somewhere between $25 and $30 because I mean they, they get free shipping on Amazon but I, I could ship this for free and put, you know, maybe 28 or 27 or something free like shipping. that with free shipping. Yeah, heck yeah. And that'll be a nice little profit. So that was a nice find. I owe Gino of Gino's finds for my thought process as I'm looking sometimes when it comes to like football stuff and collegiate stuff because he's always picking up that stuff. And he says over and over again, it sells, it sells. And so Gino, my stuff better sell. <laughs> or she's coming after you. She's going to fly down and come we're going after you. To, we're going to Florida to get, <laughs> get you. <laughs> All right. That was it, guys. That was the haul from the Restore and from Savers. And I hope you will come back Thursday and join us again for the shop along and the haul that I got from the Goodwill. These three stores, is those are like the three that we hit when we do go to that East Lake area. And of course, I've shared all the addresses with you, but if you're in the area, they are pretty close together and it's a great way to spend a day if you wanna hit all three of them. All right, everybody, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. I'm keeping you around for Thursday's video. <laughs> So we really appreciate it. Thank you, If everybody. you have not yet, please consider subscribing and then hit that little alarm button. Just click it twice so you uh, will know when I put up a new video, at least uh, twice a week. Hit the hit the like button or hit the dislike button. We don't care. You might not like us and that's, that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Especially me. No one likes me either. So. Leave a comment below. Tell us what your favorite thing was. Mine is definitely those nesting boxes. Um, or... Just say, say hello and then share us out so we can continue to grow. Um, the Yoso Boho tribe is growing and I appreciate y'all for watching. All right. We'll see you on Thursday. Bye-bye everybody. Bye.